Hello, uh, welcome to this Megabox Mondays video. Today I'm going to have a look at Carbon Fiber PC Plus from Snow Labs. So stick around and we'll have a look after the intro. So this filament sample is from Snow Labs. It's a Carbon Fiber uh, PC Plus filament and here they say the hot one temperature should be 235 to 260 and I was printing at 245 somewhere in the, in the middle and bed temperature should be 90 to 100 C and cooling low or none and here they say it's an advanced material hard to nozzle and closure and ventilation are all advised must be printed dry and here they say it's advanced engineering material polycarbonate plus with addition of carbon fiber strands for increased performance. Note to 2.85 millimeter users, uh, this is only available in 1.75, but we have tested running uh, 1.75 on our Ultimaker on Wallspot with only changing diameter in the slicer and running slow with good results. But that's some trick. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's see the, the prints. I had mixed results as you might see here on the table. So one of my first prints came out somewhere like this. <laughs> and I was getting so much issues with bed adhesion and uh, prints or coming <laughs> coming off the bed. Um, it might be I was using a 0 0.6 millimeter nozzle and I might have not been a, a good point with the slicer settings but uh, this was uh, giving me somewhat trouble um, yeah, I was getting bad adhesion working okay with Magico polycarbonate uh, blend on the PI sheet so I was getting bad adhesion finally but uh, here you can see it's <laughs> not very good performance. I was uh, maybe printing uh, too steep overhangs and, and too fast for the overhangs because the cooling was turned off. Um, I did this test, uh, it's like a brake test, and it printed uh, normal for the start, but then on this part it didn't have time to cool down, so <laughs> this was coming out uh, very strange. Um, it's it's quite tough material though, <laughs> difficult to, to break. Um, I did this string test um, and that came out excellent. Uh, I didn't have any stringing issues, but this was uh, coming out okay. I, I had the Magic Group PC <laughs> uh, bed adhesion method used. Um, I think. Uh, the most successful print was this here layers a lot and here I ran out of filament <laughs> but uh, here you can see in the overhangs because of no part cooling uh, some issues but the surface quality like here in the shield is, is really nice and here in the in the model comes out pretty good uh, it looks really nice so like here with overhangs there are some issues and here also with overhangs but uh, if you print print slow and, and don't have so much overhang in the model, you can get nice looking prints. Um, so like here in the in the front plate, it uh, looks really nice. Um, this is really tough material. I was been trying to break, trying to break the hand off. I'm like, I can't really break it off. It's, it's very strong. <laughs> So this uh, is uh, truly a very strong material. I'm just trying to to break <laughs> break the arm. <laughs> it's, I can't do it. So this is really strong material. And uh, here my cat is is having a look also. But as you can see, there was a lot of issue, mostly because of bad adhesion uh, experiments, <laughs> and also because I had the 0 0.6 nozzle and maybe have not tuned in the slicer. But when I got that to work, I got decent prints. But overhang, as you can see, are not the best maybe. But it's really strong material. So if you have functional pra parts. But need strength this uh, is probably a very strong material for that so this will be it for the carbon fiber pc filament it was uh, a little bit difficult to get started with but 
that was tuning that uh, turned out uh, to be like slicer settings and beta adhesion problems. But once I got those uh, tuned in, I got a decent print, even though I ran out with this here laser lot. <laughs> That's not the fault of the filament. I, I printed with uh, quite a lot of infill that I normally don't do. So if I would have skipped the infill, I might have been able to finish the zero laser lot. So that's how it goes sometimes when, when you have start problems with filament. Uh, samples are not so big, so you can't uh, always get uh, a good amount of good prints <laughs> so if, if you spend a lot of filament on, on tuning. But that's uh, what I love about the mega boxes to get different kinds of materials uh, that are maybe difficult and, and exotic filaments that you might not uh, have the idea of buying a full spool. You get, you get a, a sample of it so you can try out. But uh, this will be it for this uh, episode of Megabox Mondays. I'm Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. And here's Pookie, my cat. He's always taking part and wants to be on, on the show. <laughs> um, I do all sorts of stuff for my channel. And if you like my content, please subscribe to my channel and, and leave a comment on this video and give it a thumbs up or, or a thumbs down if, if you don't like it. But <laughs> if you don't like it, let me know why so that uh, I can improve. But for now, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.